for the advancing student or professional, which is our Orfeo. You'll find features on this horn that are available on no other saxophone at anything approaching this price point. And some features you'll find on no other saxophone at any price point. This is the Orfeo saxophone. Now the Orfeo gives you some features that are not found on the Vespro and it's for the advancing students. We're using deep dish finger touches without pearls. This allows the finger to sit right in here and always maintain the perfect playing position. Also, this instrument goes all the way to high G. We've got a high G key built here right above the F sharp touch. It has a three position strap ring, which no matter what size the student may be, it allows them to hook up and maintain proper playing geometry. Also, because the second octave of the saxophone tends to be a bit problematic, we've added our exclusive speaker key, which enables you to play with a full voice, the high C's. I've never we, even seen that before. You, well, this is absolutely unique to us. No one else has it. Also, to keep your lower stack in perfect adjustment, we've added an additional F-sharp helper bar with a screw adjuster right here on the top. So anytime you think there might be the least bit of leakage, you can dial it right in. We've got an extra large thumb rest here on the back that fully supports the last digit of your thumb, so you'll always maintain proper playing position. The pads on this horn are the very finest, 100% premium grade, kangaroo leather. The resonators are solid steel, nickel plated, seamless domes from the Pizzoni Company. Now this instrument is very unique in that it comes with two very distinct crooks. They're labeled number one and number two and each crook is threaded on the inside of the tenon. The purpose of this thread is to stabilize the speaking of the low notes so you don't get that embarrassing motor boating around low B and low C. Now, the difference in the two crooks is this. They're made of entirely different materials. They look the same, but if you look inside the crooks, um, you'll see they're a slightly different color. Crook number one is the same material as the body, bell, and bow of the horn. Crook number two is made of rose brass, which has less zinc, more copper in the alloy. The rose brass gives the horn a darker sound. Now you're gonna like the sound of this horn because this speaks with a voice that's usually only found in full quality professional instruments. So I'm gonna start with the number one crook okay. and let Derek give us a taste of what that's about. <laughs> Try me the other crook. Okay, so this is the rose gold crook. That's rose, rose brass. Okay. Yeah, it's darker. It's much darker. Yeah. The darker crook is more appropriate for uh, orchestral use, uh, classical music, uh, or symphonic band. I mind, I'd want to use this if I was in a quartet, say, rather than... Absolutely, a, absolutely. soloist, I wanted to play, you know. Another unique feature of this instrument is that we've added double arms to the low B flat, low B, and low C. This stabilizes the large key cups and keeps them from moving in a horizontal plane. Uh, prevents leaks. Um, this adds a little extra mass, which uh, keeps the horn speaking very well in the low end. Yeah. Speaks with authority all the time. Okay, so tell me about that finish. It's very unusual. I've never yeah. seen that before. Yeah, this is our burnished brass finish. Uh, every one of these little swirls is individually machined. And then we clear coat this as we do all our plated finishes with a very, very thin epoxy coat. Now this instrument is also available in bright silver plate with silver plated keys or with black nickel with black nickel keys. And the black nickel and silver are fully engraved on the neck, body tube, bow, and bell. 